Dr. Nikmi, one of the surgical doctors. Um, can I start by confirming your name and date of birth? Oh, hi, I'm Abdullah. I'm 59 years old. Okay, so I am here to get uh, the consent uh, for, for the colonoscopy, or it is a camera test that we are trying to arrange for you. Um, have you ever done a colonoscopy before? No, really, I have never had this operation before, and I'm actually a little bit worried. Um, can you explain to me a little bit more? What, what, does, what does it actually include? Okay, so uh, this is a camera test. What we are going to do is that we're going to take an instrument, um, such as an endoscope, which has a camera in it, and we are going to pass it um, from your um, anus, and uh, we're going to look inside of your bowels to see if there is any abnormalities. Um, and this should not be painful, but we will be giving you uh, sedatives. Um, and this would um, make you a little drowsy. And also, um, we will give you some lax lax laxatives before the procedure so that we will be able to better visualize what is going on. And um, it is important that you take them before the procedure, all right? Okay, that's fine. Uh, well, yeah, th th that's okay. But is there, is there, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Is there any alternative for this procedure at all? Yes, there is an alternative. Um, this is known as a barium, barium enema, which is when we um, insert a contrast through your back and we would take some pictures. And But this, of course, has some limitations. We cannot be sure of the accuracy and also that we won't be sure if we would get necessary samples that we need. Okay. What are the risks of this? Are you able to explain me the risks of having colonoscopy? Um, in the case of uh, a colonoscopy, we can have risks such as bleeding and infection. But this, uh, but this is very um, um, not very um, usual, and also uh, this would happen if there is any sort of perforation during the procedure. But um, you don't have to worry too much about that. Okay. Well, do I need to be fasting before the procedure? Um, yes. Uh, so um, it is necessary for you to avoid eating um, high uh, carbohydrate, um, high carb meals, and also to avoid uh, eating. Um, um, heavy meals, and it is important that you would eat rather uh, light, uh, fibrous, uh, yeah, fiber-like food, and also drink enough water and fluid so that we would be able to see your bowel uh, better clearly during the procedure. All right, that's fine. Uh, and do I need to stop any medication before the surgery? Uh, if you are taking. Um, any type of blood thinning medication, such as aspirin or colpi, then um, you, you might have to um, stop it about three days before the surgery, because as I mentioned, a complication could be bleeding. So it is necessary, to, if, it would be better if you can stop them. Um, other than that, um, that's what, uh, you can take your other medications. All right. When, when will I have the results of this operation or this procedure? Uh, you would be meeting with your consultant after two weeks after the procedure and during this time your consultant will uh, talk to you about the course. Yeah, okay. All right, can you tell me more about my bowel preparation as well? What I'm going to do in terms of the preparation? Um, so you prepare me. Um, before four days, you need to stop taking irons or um, other type of constipating drugs or any bulking agents. And in uh, two days prior, it would be uh, good if you would eat uh, food which is like um, eggs, cheese. But would um, I would pre pre it would be better if you wouldn't eat. Uh, heavy food like meats and um, fish or fruits 
and vegetables. And one day before, um, you can have breakfast with the above uh, mentioned ones, which which are like the um, the eggs, the cheese, and the uh, bread. But only take clear fluids um, and so. Um, take uh, enough water, like two glasses of water after the, uh, uh, in the morning. And uh, on the day of uh, the procedure, I would recommend that you do not eat. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I think you've done very well in, in that one, really. Uh, uh, you answered all the questions adequately. Um, yeah, to be honest, I don't have much comments for, for you. Uh, maybe just the rest. Um, you can just mention a little bit more. And again, do the combination sort of things instead of just enumerating the risks. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, well, well done on this one. Okay, uh, any questions?